It was the story I heard from Lao Lu in the village. He worked on the construction site. He cleaned the construction site during the day and helped look after it at night to avoid stealing steel and cement. That time, Lao Lu followed the team of engineers to repair the bridge in the evening. Lao Lu set up a tent and slept on the unfinished bridge. On weekdays, he ate dinner, drank tea and listened to the radio because he alone had no other pastimes. At 8 o'clock in the evening, he went out to inspect the construction site one more time before going to bed afterward. He turned off the radio, lit his flashlight and went out to check. The bridge was only half repaired, no one crossed. On the construction site, there was also someone's sand and tools piled up, nothing too valuable. Lao Lu looked at the front and back with his flashlight. When he saw nothing happened, he thought everything was probably fine. He returned to the tent and prepared to go to sleep. But when he opened the tent door, he heard a woman crying behind him. Lao Lu wondered if he had gone to check and found no one. So why were there women crying? He looked in the direction of the sound to check. He discovered something very shocking. As mentioned before, the bridge has not been repaired yet. Only half of it has been repaired. There were still some bridge piers on the river that had not been connected to the bridge body. But at this time, Lao Lu saw a woman crying on the middle bridge pier in the river. At first, Lao Lu was also taken aback. After that, he calmed himself for a moment. Then he looked at it with a flashlight and wanted to ask this woman how to get to the pier. But he was surprised when he used the flashlight. The woman on the bridge suddenly disappeared and the crying stopped. Lao Lu thought that maybe he had seen the wrong thing with these blurry eyes, so he turned off the flashlight and went back to the tent. The next day, while everyone was having lunch, Lao Lu told the story of last night to the workers. He started telling the story and everyone was listening attentively. As soon as Lao Lu mentioned a bizarre story last night, the workers gathered a lot and asked him what he had seen. Lao Lu vividly recounted how he saw a woman crying on the jetty. Lao Lu pointed everyone to the pier that was lying there. This river was deep. It was difficult for ordinary people to climb up to the jetty in the middle of the river. The workers felt that Lao Lu's words were absurd. Lao Lu, a construction guard, was alone at night on the construction site and saw a mysterious person. Or did Lao Lu meet a ghost? Some people didn't believe it and some people thought that Lao Lu didn't seem to be lying. Then they all remembered the previous shipwreck in the river. It turned out that a few days ago a boat upstream they were under construction sank, killing two men and a woman. The two men's bodies were recovered, but the woman's body had not been found. Someone asked if Lao Lu had to see the ghost of the drowning woman. Although Lao Lu's description of the woman sounded similar to the victim, some people still thought that there was no ghost at all. The story went on like that all day. In the evening, Lao Lu inspected the construction site as usual and did not hear the woman's cry anymore, so he returned to the tent and fell asleep. But in the middle of the night while Lao Lu was sleeping, that crying came again, sounding lamentable and sad. In the stillness of the night, he heard very clearly La Lu sitting up, groaning. He dressed quickly and took a flashlight out of the tent. He wanted to find out if he was dizzy. He followed that sound to go to the bridge. The night scene was scary and creepy. From a distance, La Lu saw a woman sitting on the opposite jetty, crying there, very distressed. La Lu gathered his courage and shouted at the woman he did not understand what he was doing. As a result, the woman jumped off the pier. This thing was strange. This thing scared Lao Lu. He wanted to rush to save people, but he was too far from the pier. He stood dumbfounded as he shone his flashlight on the pier opposite his eyes. The woman disappeared halfway after the jump, and there was no sound after falling into the water. Lao Lu used the flashlight to shine on the pier many times, but the woman was nowhere to be seen. At this time, Lao Lu believed that the woman was a female ghost. Early the following morning, Lao Lu found Master Li, the contractor, and told him about seeing a female ghost. Boss Li was not happy to hear that he thought Lao Lu was spreading superstition and spreading false rumors. Boss Li also said that if this affected workers' work, he would dismiss Lao Lu. Master Li scolded Lao Lu a few times and then left angrily, ignoring Master Li. 
La Lu bought some underworld banknotes and burned them on the bridge after dark. It was that if you dreamed of a dead person, it was a bad omen. In such a case, you could burn some underworld banknotes. La Lu burned paper money for the female ghost on the bridge. It seemed to have really worked since that night. La Lu had not heard the crying for three days in a row, nor seen the female ghost again. On the fourth day, the workers began to pour the piers. At that time, the facilities were still poor. There were not many types of artificial machines like today. Workers poured the first layer of concrete and then waited for it to dry before pouring the next layer. The strange thing was that the bridge pier poured the day before, the next day it collapsed so it could not be repaired for several days. The foreman couldn't help but report the strange incident to Boss Lee. Boss Lee suspected that the foreman had cut down on the materials, which was why this happened. The foreman was so scared that he swore he would never do such a thing. Boss Lee believed that the foreman said, but the pier still couldn't continue pouring concrete. Was it really haunted? When Boss Lee heard the word ghost, he reminded the foreman. Boss Lee didn't say a word, but he thought about something in his heart. First, he reprimanded Lao Liu for engaging in superstition, which was actually just to let the workers work in peace. Then he stopped the project for a day. The following morning, a small car ran up the bridge. Boss Lee especially invited Master Zhang to help him see the date and calculate Feng Shui. Boss Li led Master Zhang to the bridgehead and showed Master Zhang the pier where the accident happened. Master Zhang looked at the pier and his expression changed. Master Zhang said as soon as he arrived at the pier, he felt overwhelmed with gloom. Master Chung said that the bridge might be entangled in some resentment, so it had been built many times without success. When Boss Li heard about it, he panicked and prayed to his master for a way to solve the problem. Master Zhang asked Boss Li if anyone had died during the construction of the pier, because he felt that there was a contractor with a dark heart when a worker had an accident. He directly buried the victim's body with reinforced concrete. Boss Li swore that there was absolutely none and that he would not work so unscrupulously for the money. Master Zhang looked at Boss Li and felt that he was not lying. Master Chung looked at the piers and said that the problem should lie in the water. Boss Lee hurriedly hired a good diver nicknamed the Water Rat and at the same time found another boat and told the diver to go under the pier to check what was wrong. Lao Lu also joined the crowd curiously waiting for the results. The diver rowed the boat out and under the pier alone. Everyone on the shore was also looking down. After taking a deep breath, the diver dived straight into the water. The sinking part of the pier was 5 or 6 meters deep and the diver tried his best to dive. But under the pier he saw nothing but some gravel. He dived to the other side of the pier again, trying to see if there was anything unusual on the other side. But as soon as he dived, he was so scared that he choked on the water. He saw that some of the rocks under the bridge were cement blocks with many exposed steel bars. A woman's body was hooked by steel rods and hung there. The body swayed continuously in the water. The diver quickly surfaced, shouting to Boss Lee on the shore that there was a female body under the pier. Boss Lee selected two more diving workers from among the workers and promised to pay more to bring the woman's body ashore with the diver. Lao Lu also followed Boss Li to see how things were going. The woman's body, despite being soaked in water for many days, still did not rot and swell but was soggy white with a lamentable expression. Master Zhang thought that woman didn't want to die, so her face was full of resentment. After being compared by the police, the female lead's body was the one who was not found in the shipwreck a few days ago. Boss Li also spent a lot of money to let Master Zhang perform the magic. Finally, the bridge was completed and had been in use for many years. After hearing Lao Lu's story, I even went to see it. It was just that the symbols on the jetty have long since disappeared and were no longer visible.